Hey guys, while the alchemy shop is being set up, we thought it might be fun to get our blog started. So here you're going to find a lot of fashion and beauty tutorials. Today's video is going to be all about dark lipsticks and how to keep them from bleeding. Now, whether you're wearing red lipstick or a really popular wine and burgundy and dark purple colors that are going on right now, if it's not set correctly, that dark lipstick is going to bleed out into the little lines that you have around your lips and it's just not going to be very pretty looking at all. So we're going to show you how to prevent that from happening. Now, like with anything, when it comes to putting on your makeup, you want to give yourself a good base. So if you're like me, I have really, really chapped lips that start to peel once in a while. So what you want to do is get all those dead skin cells off because once you put on a dark lipstick, everything will show. And you don't want like nasty um, dry lips coming through that lipstick of yours. So the first thing you want to do is exfoliate. A lot of makeup artists and for a lot of the photo shoots that I worked on and for shoots that I've actually been the subject myself, the makeup artist will use a toothbrush. It works when they do it and all they do is kind of put it vertically and then go like that on their lips. But when I'm at home by myself, for some reason that method doesn't work as well. I, I don't know if it's I'm not moisturizing enough or what it is. So what I actually have to do myself is use an actual face exfoliator on my lips. Just be sure if you go with this method to keep your mouth tightly closed. Otherwise, some of that soap is going to seep into your mouth and that's not going to taste very good at all. And then after you exfoliate, the next thing you want to do is moisturize your lips. So my favorite, favorite, favorite is just Blistec Medicated Lip Balm. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I don't know why whenever I use other chapsticks or lip balms, my lips start to peel. It's not like a dry peel. It's kind of like a, a wet peel, if that's understandable to you guys. If you wear a lot of lip glosses, you know what I'm talking about. But this, this, this prevents that from happening for me. So I put that on for about like a minute or two, let it soak in, and then take a tissue and then blot the excess uh, lip balm away because you want the lipstick to still stay on. And at this point, we can actually start the process to start creating the red lip look or the dark lipstick look that you're going for. The first step that you're going to want to do at this point is to put on a cream concealer. Now, I know this might sound weird, but I learned it from a girlfriend of mine who looks amazing with the red lip, and I noticed that it wasn't bleeding throughout the night, so she told me what she actually does. And here I just have a cream concealer that I got from the drugstore. Um... It's the Maybelline Cover Stick. I got it for a few dollars. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to put this on your lips, like lipstick basically, and just spread it out. It looks a little scary, but at the same time, you're giving yourself a neutral base so that the red will actually come out like the red in whatever tube or pencil that you're looking for. Mm, so a little scary. I feel like I'm performing in some kind of weird show. And what's cool about this is, like I said, you're giving yourself the natural base, but sorry, the natural base. But you can also, at this point, draw out the lip shape that you want, since everything is kind of just like one color and blending into your face. So you can create whatever type of look that you want. Um, this next step I added in myself. Um, some people tell you to do it last, but the only reason why I don't like doing this is because going through this entire process of putting on the lip, sometimes when you do this step last, you can actually mess up your lipstick, so I prefer to do it now. Now, all I'm doing is I'm taking um, Makeup Forever High Definition Powder. You can use any translucent powder or any setting powder that you want, and I'm just going to put a little bit on over my lips and around my mouth right now. Let's see, really, really simple. Go like that. This way it goes in around your mouth and then go right on your lips too. And that's it. And the reason why I do that is because this will fill in the lines around my mouth. So this way the lipstick won't bleed into it basically. So this is a very, very big part to keep your lipstick from bleeding into the line. And now you can get started with your lip liner. Um, I'm gonna use a NARS matte pencil. I would tell you the name, but I've had it for so long that the name has rubbed off. But they make amazing, amazing pencils, and I actually just love wearing these as just lipsticks too. So these stay put really well. So just create the shape that you want. It's always so weird doing the YouTube videos because everything is reversed, kind of. So kind of don't know if you're about to do lipstick all around your face or are you going to keep it within your lips and within the lines. Okay, so I want to draw that one out a little more. So you can keep this as is. I really, really like the texture of the NARS lipsticks. 
And for your last step, you just want to apply whatever lipstick you're using. Today I'm going to stick with another red to go with my red lip liner. Um, what I'm using today is Bite Beauty's Tannin. It's a rich, rich red lipstick. I found it at Sephora. The packaging for the top is really, really unique, so it's something that you can probably recognize right away when you go into the Sephora store. There you go, rich red, and then you just apply it like you would any other lipstick. Bite Beauty has really, really good colors. It's a pretty small line, but the selection that they have of what they put together for their clients is really, really, really well thought out. So I would definitely recommend checking this brand out. Um, I also like to just draw out the lipstick a little bit so it feels more well blended. And that's it. And I guess that's it for today's video. This is Joyce from TheAlchemyShop.com. Be sure to come back to our site to see the store because it's opening up very, very soon. We're going to have lots of new fashions, vintage finds, um, great pieces for under $50, under $100, and new arrivals every single day because we don't like boring stores. We like to keep it new and fresh as often as possible. And be sure to check out our blog as often as possible because we're going to have daily fashion and beauty tutorial updates as well as just any questions our readers have for us that we would love to answer. So send in your questions whenever you have one. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.